actually. Right side of the screen is going to be anterior with 837. We just kind of switched our orientation. So you can see that nice little apex. Here we're looking at gluteus minimus tendon to the right. And here you can see a short axis view of the gluteus medius and minimus tendons. Note how the medius tendon overlaps the minimus tendon, but ultimately it angulates towards the lateral facet of the greater tuberosity. In short axis, and then if we go, we can see the gluteus medius tendon. So here's more of a view of the gluteus medius tendon, again in short axis. You can see how it is basically going down onto the lateral facet of the greater tuberosity. Also note the overlying ITB. You can see the iliotibia band above that. I'm just going to look at that again. Tender? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's tender right at the apex, right, 838. That here. Maybe a little bit of fluid there between the ITB and the gluteus medius tendon. So here you can appreciate a small sliver of fluid between the ITB and the gluteus medius tendon consistent with greater trochanter bursitis. And actually this is your orientation when you're going to inject the greater trochanter. Rotate posteriorly of gluteus medius and short axis. Now we're going to try to look at it. So here's a long axis view of the gluteus medius tendon. Again, you can appreciate the greater trochanter bursitis. Long axis. Here we're going to go over some of the anatomy of the gluteal muscles. Here's the gluteus maximus muscle. You can also appreciate the superior, medial, and inferior cuneal nerves that overlie the gluteus maximus muscle. You can also appreciate the proximal aspect of some of the hamstring muscles. Now we remove the gluteus maximus muscle. We can appreciate the underlying gluteus medius muscle with the overlying greater trochanter bursa. Also you can appreciate the intricate external rotators of the hip as well as some of the pelvic floor musculature. Now we're making the great trochanteric bursa translucent. You can appreciate the transverse branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery and vein, and also the ascending branch as well. And here's a pretty good view of the gluteus medius and minimus muscles. Actually, you just really see the gluteus minimus tendon as the gluteus medius muscle overlies it. And here, the gluteus medius muscle is translucent, and now we just made the minimus muscle translucent as well. And now we're bringing back the maximus muscle, making it translucent again. Here we're going to focus on the gluteal musculature and tendons. You can appreciate the gluteus maximus muscle, which we're making translucent now. And now we're looking at the gluteus medius muscle and minimus tendon, which you can see inserting on the lateral and anterior facet, respectfully. Also, you can appreciate the greater trochanter bursa that overlies the gluteus medius tendon. Now we're getting more of a posterior perspective. We're making the greater trochanter bursa translucent. And we're doing some cross-sectional anatomy now of the gluteus medius muscle and going further back proximally. And we can see here the gluteus minimus muscle and tendon that is essentially underneath the medius muscle. Now we're going further back, cross-sectional anatomy of the gluteus medius muscle. And now we're actually doing cross-sectional anatomy of the gluteus minimus tendon. And you can appreciate the underlying gluteus medius and minimus bursi. We're going further back now with the gluteus minimus muscle in terms of cross-sectional anatomy. And here's a good view of the apex of the greater trochanter. And now we're bringing those muscles back to their full form. Here we're now just going to do cross-sectional anatomy of the femur. Here we're looking at the medial and lateral femoral condyles from a bird's eye perspective. This is without obviously the hyaline cartilage overlying the femoral condyles. And now we're going through some cross-sectional anatomy of the femoral condyles and shaft going up towards the greater trochanter. So now we're actually heading into the greater trochanter. You can appreciate that apex which separates the anterior and lateral facets and also that rounded posterior facet as well.